The gymnastics. Hello, everybody. Today, the date today. Monday. 13th. Monday the 13th. Hello, everyone. Today is Monday the 13th. This is a live gymnastics workout with me, Joshua Ball, and my lovely lady, Hannah Loops. We have worked out the problem why our live stream keeps cutting out. And we, well, we think. Think? We think. It's because my laptop's been in the sun, so the sun keeps warming up my laptop, and our laptop can't handle it. So that's why I'm on Facebook as well. So if it cuts out on here, then head over to my Facebook. If, you, if you're joining along, you can carry on through the Facebook. I've also got it recorded for after. Not that it's sunny today, but Not you know. <laughs> Okay, let's take my glasses off. You got glasses, hats, take them off. Make sure you have a lovely bowl. Everybody's got a bottle of Costco water. <laughs> okay, ready to join in? We're going in three, two, one. Have an ankle, jogging on the spot. <laughs> Jogging, jogging. He's lying, he's just trying to get out of doing stuff. He'll be all right in a minute. Plenty a little twinge. Guys that are watching, let me know where you are. In the country, I had someone from New York the other day. Is anyone further than New York? Okay, 10 star jumps. Right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they're running high knees. As high as you can. See if any of you guys can notice that I'm not putting weight on my left ankle. It really hurts. <laughs> okay, kicking your bums. Ow. <laughs> You're not getting out of it. Right, I'm not getting out. I'm going to do this every single day, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Guys on Facebook, if you're not on my YouTube, subscribe onto my YouTube channel. You have a better view of the class. Okay, just a little run. And then circle arms forwards. Oh, it's nice and big forwards. Today we're going to work some handstand presses. That's the focus of today's class. And backwards, I'm going to teach you a few processes up to a handstand press. And hopefully, I'll teach you how to. I'll show you how to do one. It's Thank been a while. Working. I've not been training a lot. Okay, side to side. Keep your chest going. Side to side, stretching out your back. Oh, get nice and warm. Yeah, and then arms up, position one, position two, three in front, four in the middle, line through your legs. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then hold in the middle. And then what I want you to do, turn your hands around, and then walk your hands as far as you can through your legs. If you can get somewhere where you can pull onto something, grab it, give it a pull, so really stretching the back of your legs out. And then lunge to the right like Spider-Man. Chest up, don't be all down there like this. Like I say, look out for danger. <laughs> stretch out that leg. And then stretch to the other side. <laughs> that one. Stretch out that leg. Keep those toes nice and pointed. Tarot glide toes pointed. Of course. Of course. Okay, back up to all again. Floor. And then we're going to go side to side. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Okay, and then we're going to go forwards in the middle, through your legs. Forwards in the middle, through your legs. Forwards, 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 middle, through your legs. Okay, shake. Give your legs a good shake. And then we're going to put our feet together, standing like nice gymnasts. Okay, arms up nice and tall. Now we're going to go five times to our toes. One, back up. Two, three, four, five, and hold at the bottom for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give your legs a good shake. Okay, last class we did straddle and we walked all the way out and did a press up. Today we're going to do it in pike. Okay. Okay, so feet nicely together, arms up. We're going to go 10 times all the way down, walk out, press up. One, walk back. Try and get that flexibility on the way back. One, two, three, 
three. And back. Four. Come on, Anna, keep up. I can't. Keep up. <laughs> Hope you guys can keep up. Forward. Press. Back up forwards. Arms up. What are we on? How many are we on? I think this is six. Six. Ah, arms up nice and tall. Feel that stretch all the way in the back of your legs. Keep your legs nice and straight. Walk out. Seven. Arms up. Oh. Eight. Oh. And back. And up. Nine. Come on, Hannah. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you guys as well. Last one. All the way down. Walk out forwards. Press up. Back up. Ankle backwards. And stretch it out. Stretch it out. Should be getting warmer. That's getting it. It's getting you all nice and warm. It's getting me warm. It's got Hannah warm. Okay, now I want you in a tuck shape. You just sit in a nice tuck shape. Have a little breather. You've got five seconds. Then we're going to stretch out our bridge. The back walkover is incoming. There isn't it, it is. Back walkers is going to happen. Right. Are we ready? We're going to hold a bridge. Let's do 30 seconds first. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, you're going that way. I'll okay, go this way. Three, two, wait there. Instead of a normal bridge, if you can do it, remember I want you rocking forwards and backwards. Yeah. I reckon Hannah can have swapping legs, I think, today. I'm going to rock forwards and backwards, and I can swap legs. Yeah. Okay, and you guys can follow along. Are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Twenty. Fifteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come back down into a tuck shape and rock forwards and backwards. Give your wrists a shake if you need to shake your wrists. That would hurt my wrists today. Now rock forwards and backwards. Stretch out our back. Woo. That was good. Okay, now, 10 times, all I want you to do, you're going to lift up to bridge 10 times. Just push up as far as you can. If you can push all the way up to bridge, and you can push your shoulders right back to over your hands, then I want you to try that. Okay? Yeah. Just 10 times up and down. Are we ready? I'm up. Three, two, one, go. One, two, one. What? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big massive one on the last ten. Really push. Oh. <laughs> and it's took again to rock with the you after that. Because I don't do it. <laughs> Forwards and backwards, stretch your back out, grab yourself a drink, and then we're gonna, I'm going to explain to you guys handstand press and some activities and exercises that you can do to get it. Need a drink? Yeah, why not? Grab yourself a drink, a minute rest. Nearly spilled it all down myself. <sighs> so, a handstand press. Can you do a handstand press, Hannah? Not yet. Not yet. I'm about to teach you a handstand press. Right, a handstand press is one of the one of the key elements in gymnastics. Very hard to get. Won't you won't get it in two weeks, three weeks. It's going to take you a lot of time. You've got to build the muscle in your shoulders. You've got to get the flexibility in your hips. And we've got to lift up to, you've got, it takes a lot of strength to lift from the floor straight up into a handstand. Okay, so I'm going to show you some exercises that you guys can do. Me and Hannah will do a rotation of the exercises, yes? Yep. 
And then obviously after the live stream, you guys will know their exercises. You can practice all the way through the day. These are perfect exercises to do in the mornings, before you go to bed, if you're bored, sat on the sofa, jump up, go through the rotation of exercises. Okay, let's get cracking. First one. The first one that we are going to do, straddle position. And you're going to put your hands on the floor. What I want you to do is 10 times, lift your shoulders forwards. So when we're here like this, try and put your hands in the middle of your, your palms here. I want to be in line with your toes, okay? And we've got to focus on getting our shoulders forwards, okay? So as we're here, I want you to go shoulders forward. Take that weight onto your shoulders, lift on your toes a little bit, and press backwards. I need to do that 10 times, okay? Let's go, 10 times. Just take that weight onto your shoulders, lean forward and back, okay? Lean forward, push your fingertips into the ground. Some people will prefer it to go a bit further forwards. I know I do, but a lot of us, we have to rely on the flexibility in our hips. If our, if our hips can't go above our head, then we're planching up to a handstand press, okay? But that comes with practice. I still can't get my hips over my head, but every now and then I can do a handstand press. <laughs> so I keep going. How many are you on, Hannah? Nine. And press forwards. Try and keep those arms nice and straight. Ten. Arms locked out, head in. You don't want to have your head right out. You want to have your head in between your arms. And press. And press. And press. Okay. You should start to feel that. It's not, it's almost like it's not your shoulder muscles. It's like it's all these, all those little muscles that are in, in your shoulders to get you up to that handstand. Okay. We're going to do another 10 of those. Wait for you guys on the other end to finish. And then we'll get 10 again. So we're hands down, shoulders forward. You want to be stopping here. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. So as your shoulders are here, you want them to come right over your hands, okay? And then try and lift up onto your tippy toes, okay? Good, keep going. Keep on going, keep on going. And we're go I'm gonna do 10. One. Three. You go. Right, for some of you guys as well, if you can do that and you feel comfortable doing that, start trying to lift, lift your toes up off the, off the floor, just slightly, okay? It doesn't matter if you fall forwards, it just means that you're working your shoulders. They're gonna get stronger over time, okay? But if you're a bit more comfortable from here, try and go forwards, lift your toes right up and come back down, okay? Keep trying it over and over and over and over and over and over. 10. Yeah? 10? Yeah. Don't fall already. One. Last one. Ten. Love that. Then shake your shoulders out. Little rest. Then we'll go. The next exercise that you guys are going to do. So you've got your static one. You're standing still. You're trying to lift your feet just slightly up off the floor. If you're a bit more advanced, try and bring your feet just off the floor. I know that some of you can already do a handstand press. Like our competition winner is Alana Baker. She did a beautiful handstand press in her routine. She won herself some parallax and they're on the way to you. Tomorrow, when the post office opens. Right, next exercise. You got your first one. Your second exercise for your handstand press. I want you to try and travel forwards. So instead of lifting your toes slightly up off the floor, you're gonna try and lift. If you can't get them off the floor, just drag them, but keep those shoulders. Your shoulders always need to be forwards, okay? Right up until that point that your feet are in line with your, in, in line with your hands, if you can go even further than your hands, okay? So you guys can stand on one side of your living room, make it a challenge. Instead of doing 10, go to the others from one side of your living room to the other side of the living room, okay? So if we start to go the way over here, are you demonstrating? I can't do it. Uh, 
From here, you're going to try exactly the same as the first one, but drag forwards. Now you're going to be traveling forwards. So we're going to straddle down, hands forwards, toes come forwards. There, hands forwards again, shoulders forwards, press. There, start traveling forwards with it. There, shoulders right forwards, toes forwards. Onto your tiptoes, drag your feet forwards. Tiptoes, drag your feet forwards. Okay? And it's time to go down on that. Well, that's good, then we can see a bit more advanced. You're working towards it. It takes time, it takes practice. There, look, that's good. You're going to be working all those shoulders, all your shoulder muscles. You're going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay, look, watching how Hannah's doing it. Up onto her tiptoes, shoulders forwards, and drag your feet forwards. That's it. Good. Are we going to do that one again? Yep. Yeah. After you. All right, so you guys probably have one side of your living room to the other, or you can even do it on the spot. You don't have to travel forward. You can always take a step back if you've got a enough room. Stand from there, arms forward, shoulders forwards, toes forwards. Yeah? And then just take a step back. Do it again, do 10 times. From there, tip toes, forwards. Okay? Go there. So from there, shoulders right forwards. If you feel like your shoulders are forwards, but you can't, you always need your shoulders further forwards. I've learned that. I practiced it every single day, eight months. It took me every single day, every time I went into the gym, I go to the gymnastic center, what, five, six times a week? Sometimes I even do an event on Sunday, so I do it seven times a week. And I tried every single day just to do five press handstands. Eight months later, I was able to do it. Coronavirus came, tried it yesterday. I couldn't do it. But I'm going to do it at the end of this. Okay? After my shoulders have been worked out, you can go again all the way down. So straddle, there, shoulders forwards, feet forwards. Shoulders, feet. Shoulders, feet. Shoulders, feet. Shoulders, feet. Okay? Do you guys want to make it a bit harder? Do it in pike. Let's see if Hannah can do it in a pike. No. Huh? <laughs> so, instead of your legs in straddle, you put your feet together. Go for it. So you can get your, well, put your hands further forwards. And now see so you can drag your toes into between your hands. That's it. <laughs> that's fine. So again, that's fine. Doesn't matter if you fall over. That's the whole point of gymnastics. You're always going to fall over. If you're not falling over, you're not trying hard enough. But just be safe when you do fall over. Make sure you've got some mats around. You've got enough space. That one's hard. We don't anyone. Don't want any bumped heads. Okay? Right. My third gymnastics handstand press exercise for you. Okay. It's a bit of a unique one. I don't know if it's in the code. But you're going from seal sit, so on your stomach, I want you to drag your feet all the way up. I'm going to show you one. It's easier to show than it is to explain this one. So you're going to lie down flat on your flat on your stomach. I do so five about five of these. So from here, you're going to put your hands up so you're in your seal sit. And now what I want you to try and do, your feet here, they're going to drag and they're going to try and come to the side of you. You're going to lift your bum up as high as you can. So it's bum to the sky. From here, you're going to drag your feet, keep on coming, keep on coming, keep on coming, and then to the side. Okay? Try it five times. So from here, up, drag, to the side. Okay? That's two. You guys can join along. You can either do this one or the straddle one. So from here. Drag there to the side. Okay, that's three. Two more. Okay. Stomach, straight arms, drag, lift your bum to the sky, and legs to the side, and then just come back down. From here, drag, two. Okay, that's going to be working. All your muscles in your stomach, your hips, your shoulders, it's going to work everything. Let's see if Hannah can do it. See? Good. She's got to think about pushing her bum even higher to the, to the sky. So lift your bum up. Up, 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 up. Good. A little bit. Shoulders can come a little bit further forward. But that will become that will be from wrist strength, arm strength, shoulder strength. Like I said, it doesn't happen straight away. Keep practicing. To the side. Lovely. How many is that? Four. Four. Last one. 
knife. You want to feel like it's working your shoulders. You want to feel it should it'll be working your entire body. You're trying to lift your entire body from the ground into a handstand. Okay, so if you try it a hundred times and you've not done it, don't expect to. It takes time. Hey, what comment we got? Somebody's commented on YouTube. <laughs> Gabby and Demi from my Tuesday class. Hey, how are you? I hope you're all safe and I miss you. We'll see you back on Tuesday. In a couple of weeks. Hopefully when we're back. So there you have three exercises you've got. Show the first one, Hannah. Josh's memory slips. Here's <laughs> your first one. It's on the spot, lifting your toes up whilst trying to bring your shoulders forwards. So from there. See how our shoulders from there? <laughs> Shoulders here, look, they come right forwards, and then our toes lift up off the floor, up to a handstand. <laughs> yeah, that's your first exercise that you guys have now learned as you've watched along with this. Your second exercise is traveling with that, so that's, that's encouraging you to lift your legs further forwards, okay? If your hips are over your head, all you've got to do is join your legs together, okay? But getting your hips over your head, that's the strength bit, that's the hard bit, that's flexibility, shoulder strength. Everything to do. It's probably one of their best gymnastic skills, I think. Works okay. everything. Works yeah. absolutely yes. everything. And then your third one that you've learned, okay, that's a bit more of an advanced one. So if you can't quite do this one, go do, do the other two. Make it a little rotation. So do 10 of each, have a little rest. 10 of each, have a little rest. Okay. But your third one that's a bit more advanced is straddle, moving forward. Uh, it wasn't for moving forwards, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Moving forwards. So how much going to show us moving forwards? Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Oh, or in pipe. Yeah. So that was, was your other one. Moving forward. So there. Shoulders, toes. Shoulders, toes. Try not to jump. Jumping's cheating. You've got to drag. Rock yeah. yourself. If you like us, it's easier at that end of the mat than it is at this end of the mat because it's on a hill. You can you can you can see it where it runs all the way through here. So yeah. show. Let's see it. I'll talk them through. So you go straddle. Your hands, you want your palms here to be in line with your feet. Okay, and then your shoulders go forwards first. Then you're thinking hips up and you're leaning forwards. Doesn't matter if your hands move forwards, you'll get better and better and better. You've just got to keep doing it, keep practicing. So forwards and touch. Yeah, good. Then okay. the fourth one. Then the fourth down. one was the laying down one. So laying down on your stomach, dragging your feet up and trying to get into that straddle position, if not even a pike position to begin with. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah? So there, you're dragging right up. You guys think, like, your bum's got to get over your hands. So as you're coming up, shoulders right forwards, then to the side. Yeah, look at how, look at the angle in my shoulders here. It's right forwards, okay? If you're all the way back here, you're never going to actually lift up to that handstand, okay? So there's four different exercises for handstand press. Anna, should we try one? <laughs> you want to try one? You can help. So, if you guys have got a partner, so Gabby and Demi, you two can work together. Okay. You put the water bottle there. Oh. <laughs> Fancy putting it right in front of the Facebook. <laughs> so, put, move the water bottle. <laughs> so, if Hi, I'm in the mirror. <laughs> if you've got a partner, you can do this. So they'll go into that straddle position. All your job is, as the assistant, okay, is holding their hips and bringing them forward. So you're here, you're gonna just lift their hips and they bring their legs up. Then they're gonna push their shoulders back and then straddle their legs again. And then from here, a good way to be training it is slowly coming down. So as you're coming down, your shoulders are coming forward, staying against my leg, and they come right down to the floor, okay? So there's your partnered work. Four exercises to do for handstand press, okay? If you've been following along, me and Hannah are just going to stretch out our splits to finish off the class because splits is the most important but as well. first, Josh is going to show you what it should look like. I'll show you what. No, why did you have to say that? Because you promised. You're doing it on the floor. I'm doing it on concrete. Risky. Yes. Are you ready? I'm going to try. This is what it should look like, maybe. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That was all right. Yeah? Practice over and over again, over and over again. Eventually you'll do that one. And I think I've got a video somewhere. I'll post it up on the Facebook of me doing my first ever handstand press and I was absolutely buzzing, okay? It's such a good skill to keep practicing, keep practicing, and keep practicing, okay? And it kind of it almost teaches you the values of 
you need to try harder. You need to always be trying hard to get the skills that you want to do in gymnastics. Okay? Sometimes it's easier with your feet or something higher. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hello, Zyra. Okay, grab that mat. Grab it. Okay. I'll show you one. One other thing that you can do if you've got something with a little bit of elevation in your house that is really good for your house stand prep. I'll try another one for you while Hannah grabs the mat. So just, if you can't, just try that. Keep trying it. From there, shoulders, breath. Just come off your feet. I can't do it again. I can't do it again, Hannah. I can do one a day. For those that can't do coach. <laughs> they might be all right. Yeah, so if you've got something elevated, I know that a lot of you, you guys that have sent me in pictures and stuff, I see you've got all your gymnastics equipment in your houses. Who else we got? My handstand is better for a cat. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, it was in that video. So if you've got something... Huh? Something like that. So if you've got something elevated, start on top of it. I'm going to get Hannah to hold it. Just in case it goes for a skid. Yeah. If you've got something elevated, then reach down all the way to the floor so you're already in a bit of a better position to start. And then toes up and back down. Toes up, back down. If you can from here, up. Okay? I'm jumping because my shoulders are getting tired. <laughs> uh, Hannah, give it a go. I feel like I might not even be able to reach the floor. <laughs> so, Hands on the floor, shoulders right over the top. Jump if you need to. No. Jumping is cheating, but it makes you feel good because it is a hard skill. Bit of a hard lesson today, but there's bits in it that you can do. There's it's hard. <laughs> there's four different activities that's where you're not actually doing the full handstand press, but you're building up to that handstand press. Okay, you've got to always think that you're building up to it. You're not going to be able to do it. Okay, did you just see the one I just did? That one was all right. I nearly fell over, but... <laughs> right, you guys that are following along, back onto your mats, back onto the floor. Keep in mind those four exercises. We're going to stretch out our splits, and then that's the finish of this class for today. Okay? So you're going to go onto your knee with your right leg forwards, pointed toe, and you're going to slide all the way down your leg. Try and reach as far forwards as you can. If you can get past your foot, get past your foot. If you can't get past your foot, and you can only get to here, just go to here. But make sure we want to be stretching out Oh, back leg, okay? Try and get your nose down to your knee if you can. And Kurt Felstead, your handstand press might be better, but your splits definitely are. Okay, and then you're gonna lunge forward, get your back leg nice and straight. Stretching out our quad just here, and then we're gonna slide all the way down to a split. That was not a straight back leg. As far as you can. Yes, but that is. <laughs> Might be about the same now. Arms out to the side if you can. The same. Keep holding. <laughs> Five, four, three. Oh no. Two, Face one. Face fell over. <laughs> okay, I'll swap leg. <laughs> Left leg forwards this time. Same again. Front leg straight, stretching out the quad, the, your hamstring. Keep it nice and straight. And then lunge forwards. Back leg nice and straight. Really feel that stretch in your hips and in your, the front of your leg. And then slide down as far as you can to splits. Even if you can only go to here, okay? So many boys come to my classes. I have, uh, I bet every single week, at least one lad comes into my class and goes, I can't do splits. But it's exactly the same for boys and girls. It doesn't matter if you're a boy, it doesn't matter if you're a girl. Yeah, if you practice it and you stretch, yes, boys have got it a bit harder by... What was it even called? What? Like boys just get it, and they're not as flexible as girls, are they? Well, I think that's wrong. I think they, Everyone can be as flexible. So when the lads come into me and go, I can't do my splits, the only reason that they can't do their splits is because not they're it. not practicing it. Girls, when they're younger, they get involved in dance, they get involved in gymnastics, their splits are always being trained from when they're really young. Okay? There's lads who like playing football, rugby, I did football. Some girls might like it as well. Yeah, well, of course, yeah. But slide down as far as you can. Hold. Just go as far as you can. You take a picture now of your splits. You do this little routine that we've, we've just done every single day for the next two weeks. 
take a picture again, you look at it and you'll go, oh my God, I'm actually getting a lot better. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah? Positive mindset. I've got quite a good positive mindset, I think. Yeah, sideways. Because you know what a good positive mindset means I can do? Is what I do at the end of every single live stream, is try a backwards walkover. So I'm about to try a backwards walkover. <laughs> Kurt, sub count is better though. <laughs> yeah. Do you mean Lewis Clark subs? Oof. <laughs> I'm going to try a backwards walkover and then the stream's done. Um, uh. Sit your head under. Go on. Ah. Ah. Right, thank you very much for watching this live gymnastics class. I haven't got this far for a few weeks because the live stream right, hasn't worked. It's worked the whole time. But I think that the issue has been solved with why the live stream cuts out. It was, unfortunately, the weather. The weather in England is too hot, which you never really get to say, <laughs> do you? Yeah. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching. Um, if you joined along, good work. You've got all those four exercises to do. You've got, keep practicing those splits. Okay, if you guys take a photo of you trying your press the handstand or a video, if any of you can do it, send them across to me, okay? Our next class will be on Wednesday at two o'clock and I'll have a little competition for you then. So make sure you're there. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye Facebook, bye YouTube. And bye Facebook and bye YouTube.